Hello viewers and welcome back to My Hero Academia and today's chapter we're taking, tackling number 216 and hopefully be the end of the of this class A versus class B arc so so last time uh, basically more in fighting with the A and B and and it just looks like it's going to get to the end so Let's just get started and let's just jump in right away. So, number 216, final results, class A versus class B. His thoughts in the final moments. Then we get a uh, catch up on what just happened in the last chapter. I wanted to turn around and capture him with my scarf. Volume 22 is currently on sale. World Triggers Mangaka Ashiura Sensei also has a manga insert inside. I don't know about World Triggers if it's good or not. I would like to do other manga reviews, uh, manga reactions on other pieces of manga. Should I? Should I? Uh, just comment if uh, I have like a few ideas, but um, so let's continue. So then we continue right back where we were. Damn it! I even told him I was looking forward to showing him a different side of me than before. And a flashback to what's been all the craziness that's been going on in the last three, four chapters with Midoriya and uh, Shinzo. And, and, yes, also Black Whip getting involved. All these people are counting continue, continually moving forward. Damn it. And we get, like, bits and pieces of uh, Class 1A and Class 1B. So let's move on. The Hero Department is really really is amazing and we just see Shinzo just about to hit the ground and we get all the class 1b is all beaten so Mamoma his hero name is Phantom Thief Emily Emily match 5 is over there were some pretty close calls Emily clang rule but with a perfect four four zero clang miles mines class a wins clang and since i was just looking disappointed and everybody yeah congratulations on class a winning and midoriya's just holding Manetta like a little child baby child <laughs> okay that is pretty funny and we just cut away to midnight and the Bright Lord. We get a panel of earphone jack, midnight, and the Bright Lord. Because I can't, I can't start twiggling. I have to condense it down a little. With round five complete, this is, concludes all of the matches. All participants did an amazing job reading excellent job reading not only their opponents but also themselves and earphone check and uh, oh frick didn't see um oh finish oh, I forgot what was her name again invisible the invisible man just basically holding up a sign saying standing stand for imperial reporting out with bias out with Vlad King woohoo woohoo uh, round one, class A. Round two, class B. Round three, draw. Round four, I think that was uh, class A. That's the one with Bakugo. That was goddamn quick. The, like the quickest, still, one of the quickest arcs in fights in, in this arc. I don't think any other chapter or fight in this series so far has never gone that quick. And round five, class A. Final results, class A, class A's, 
victory. And everybody's just cheering from class A. And cutting back to class B with the uh, mushroom girl, the manga guy, I can't remember. And the tendrils for hair. Still, still, mushroom girl still hasn't got bit, um, uh, no, no, what am I, the word I'm looking for. In, like, like, I mean, she, what mushroom girl did all that, all the way back, that was biological warfare. That is basic, she's basically killing people. And she's supposed to be a good guy. Okay, enough of that. So, everybody gets out of the fifth round of Class B. Sensei. And this is, uh, Shinzo talking. I couldn't do anything alone. I still lack strength. So, he's just talking to Erisa Head and Flad about his recent failure. This was also supposed to serve as my entrance, entrance exam, too, correct? You knew? No. But considering the timing and the format of the uh, this exercise, this format would easily let you test my ability without any extra setup. Plus, I was also the only one who participated twice. He's very observant, and Izara's just saying nothing. And uh, when Izara's talking now, in any case, it's time for our s assessments. Hurry and return to your position. Uh, in any case, Midoriya? What the hell was that? An eb and we just simply cut back to the two dark characters from each of Class 1 and Class B. Tokugami and Shadow or something? Can't remember the other guy from 1B. An ebony mask brought, with this, brought forth from within. It kind of went wild, but you got a name for it? Was it a new move derived from your quirk? How does it work? Eh, how you, yeah, how are you going to weasel your way out? Are you just going to flat out tell the truth or lie? I can't tell them about one for all, but it's not something I should lie about. I need to say what I can, I can to a certain extent. Well, I, I'm actually not too sure myself. My power overflowed, and it w and I wasn't able to suppress it. It feel felt like all that I had believed in up till now was stripped away. I, m I myself was scared. But when Uraraka and Shinzo helped stop me, I realized that it wasn't that. If Shinzo wasn't there to use his brainwashing to stop my thoughts. I'm not sure what would have happened. Shinzo asked me if it was a bluff, but I legitimately did not know what was going on. So thank you to both of you. And we cut to Shinzo's side of the conversation. I mean, all I did was see an opening to use my brainwashing. He read into it that far. It clearly wasn't an act, though. And Midnight's back to talking. Alright. The way Shinzo took on Midoriya's rampage and Uraraka's quirk reactions, both were amazing. To use one's own body in order to claim one's friend, clam one's friends down. Yes, that's right. That's what I... That's what I love to see. Hmm. And Piggy's just moving right close to Uraraka. Uh, you did react pretty fast, huh, Uraraka? Jumped right in front of him. Latched on to him pretty hard, too, didn't you? Oh, God. <laughs> that is goddamn creepy from Piggy. And Uraraka just blushed the next two panels just like starts normal and then blushed i i can't really sh it's black and white that's a shame like it's i know what it means it that she's just blushing i just jumped without thinking i thought i suppose i couldn't 
could have thought it through a bit more, but I think it was better than nothing than doing nothing and regretting it later. And Aizawa sees it. I want to help. You've grown a lot, Uraraka. And she's like super pitch black in this panel. In the last panel. I think she's just like turns pink and then bright red. Probably for the when the anime gets caught up to this. Probably it's just going to be pink and then blushing pure red or something like that. Because she looks completely black and only her eyes is showing. In that panel. And Shinzo's talking again. I didn't exactly do it just because of you, Midoriya. I was just following Uraraka's instructions, or rather, I saw that young Yangi and the others were being also attacked by that black thing, and knew that our chance of winning would be slim if that thing wasn't stopped. It, I stopped. I stopped it because. I wanted to fight you and win. It, it all happened by chance. I was only thinking of myself. And Osawa's just coming closer and the next page he's just using the bands and just choking the life out of him. <laughs> and I think it's Charge Bolt that's... T everybody's just shocked about it. and I think it's Charge Bolt just being and sugar man behind him i think just saying violence pta 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 <laughs> oh god no one was expecting you to go so far everyone here has been training hard every day to be a hero that can save someone anyone who can get there instantly would be an all might level genius. You won't be able to save anyone if you're only thinking of others. You can't help others if you don't have the power to help yourself. And I think that the first, the top panel on page 11 is, I think, a flashback to, um, to. Aizawa's uh, days in UA and clearly the person on the left could be present Mike when he was younger because I don't know I just could tell I couldn't tell from the other person with that in mind your actions were more than enough to pass congratulations Shinzo at the end oh it's Midoriya talking at the end when you let me in to a one-on-one, -on -one, you were trying to fight me with your very your own special specialty, right? You were so quick to stop my movements with the pipes. Plus, the way you used the cloth was almost identical to Aizawa. To be honest, in the first match, I thought you were just drawing off the team's energy, a uh, team's power. But in the end, that wasn't all. Your movement and situational analyst skills aren't inferior to anyone else here in the hero department. It was amazing he's just rambling on and on right now. You're doing your thing again. If we're going to talk about strength that others can rely on, it's me, it's me who's not there yet. Indeed. We're going to get back to the evaluation now, but probably no. Most certainly. Shinzo will join the hero department starting his second year. Congratulations! Shinzo! Nobody here better dare take him on half-heartedly. So, congratulations, Shinzo. You're officially in the hero department. You always wanted to go in there. And we'll see you next in the second year. Ooh, which class? A, B? We're not... At that point yet, we still have more review left. So they're not going to say which class he's going to be in. So he's officially in the hero course starting next year. And I think there's just only like one term left before then. That's not that long. Probably 
maybe we'll see Shinzo not this year, but maybe next year or next year or the year after. Either 2020 or 2021, depending on how long the arcs are. Or it could be this year, maybe in December. I don't know. But most likely it's going to be 2020. So congratulations, Shinzo. Well done. And we just cut away to Pinky and Minata. That reminds me, Sensei. Minata did the worst. So please mark him down. <laughs> Excuse me? I was the one that cornered Shuda and the others. Yeah, you did, Minata. Oh, God. I think this is Horikoshi. I think the why Horikoshi wrote that in with Pinky just in saying that Minata did the worst because being a pervert and basically having Minetta touch um, Pinky's boobs with his hair. Yes, I said the word boobs. You try. But mostly it was the side of the boob. But still, technically, go back two chapters, and yeah, technically it kind of scales out that he, that Mineta did a smarter thing. So I think that the, the way Hortikoshi wrote it, I think that's just a little tiny little jab at the haters of Minata saying, Oh, Minata should just have been thrown out, blah, blah, blah. Even though that Hortikoshi has stated multiple times that Minata is his favorite. And he's probably got big plans for Minata down the line, so we won't know. So I, I just think that was just a tiny little stab at that community who hates Minata. And technically... Technically, Mineta does get punished for his actions, like getting almost drowned, stabbed in the eye with a jack. And, it, and comedy is derived from human, mi human misery, so someone has to suffer, and Mineta's suffering just made me laugh, okay? And that's my argument about the whole thing. If you haters just want to comment to me about that, go ahead and try it, and I'll just basically ignore you. And on page 13, we just... Oh, great, we're back to Monoma. <laughs> it's true that Class B may have lost this time. However, we definitely did not lose in terms of substance. Now that I know that Midoriya's quirk has that, we could devise a strategy to counter it. In other words, it means if we had a rematch right now, who knows who would win. And Flat's just shooting him down. We're not doing it again. Class is over for today, so... Okay, Monument stated that... But he... I think what Monoma is talking about that is probably the Dark Tendrils. Black Whip with those Dark Tendrils. And Monoma didn't see that coming because he didn't touch Midoriya in... And I'm just a little confused about did Monoma touch Midoriya or he didn't. I'm on the firm that he didn't touch him from the panels like two panels ago when he tried to touch Midoriya with that swipe of his hand. And it kind of looked like the art just saying that... That Midoriya dodged it. I and some of the and some people like Chibi reviews brought that he did touch him, but according to the art, as far as I know, he did not touch him. Either the but you probably go and counter that where did that second blow came from in the last chapter? I thought it was like the lug nut or something. I don't know. It's like Hortikoshi's art wasn't very clear at that point and I got a little confused. I'm probably sure that in the art, in my way of how I interpret it, that he did not touch him. Maybe he's referring to that as as the dark whip. And yeah, he and yeah, he kind of looks like he's losing his shit even further. 
That reminds me, if I got hit by Shinshodora's quirk, that must that means I must have been touched before. Oh, oh, so, so where did that first hit come from? Anyway, did he actually touch him? Or was it the lug nut? I mean, the art wasn't very clear. I heard that my limbs would explode, so I panicked, but when, what did M M Monoma meant by that? It's probably because of Black Whip on the way I said that. So that would be a big surprise. Oh, right, sorry. To interrupt your com So we go back to Aizawa just saying, Oh, right, sorry to interrupt your commentary, but... Monoma? Come to come by Eerie Chan's place tomorrow. And we have Monoma just like on a creepy ass look. And Monoma and Eerie Chan, what are they planning? Chapter 216 and. No, no, that's not wise having Monoma, like a creep like Monoma around Eerie Chan. So, and for those who have, I'm not going to get into anime spoils for season four. You're going to have to wait until, until the fall, but keep that in mind. And if I have to spoil season four in the next chapter, then I don't really care at this point when if if I have to spoil season four, then... I don't want to spoil season four. I just want to have the anime, the anime only, the anime only not to be spoiled. This this arc is way past beyond season four, and I'm a little curious about how far season four will go. I know they're going to cover the big arc involving involving the character at the end of the anime. I know what's going to happen in it, but I won't spoil. So... So, I know that there's like two... There's like two mini arcs after that big event. And then after those two tiny little mini arcs, there's the, ne the next arc after that big one that I'm mostly excited about because because in my opinion I fairly like the one after those two mini arcs and that because it kind of hits me a like to a cut uh, gets into me deep because I like that arc and if people say that it's a bad arc I don't give a damn the and maybe I may cover it if if it's decided to move that arc for season five. But I really want all that into one for season four. The big arc, the two mini arcs, and the other arc, the cultural festival arc. It's a really good arc in my opinion. And at the end it gets, gets to me emotionally. But I'll probably explain if I ever get the chance to cover that arc because I goddamn love that arc and if people say that oh this arc is bad but maybe I should give things a chance so that was chapter so besides all that craziness and season four talks and just curious about that like are they just going to cover the big chunk like I mean the arc in the it's very long but I'm not sure they are going to stuff that whole thing in one arc because it gets very depressing. But I don't want to say anything for anime reviews at like anime only. Anime only. So so that's number 216. So we're officially done the joint training arc. And by the things of what happened at the end of this chapter, where I think we're getting tiny setup for an for the new arc with Monoma with Erichan. I do not trust Monoma near her. Like 
He's pro after the big rant that we just had on the last page. I just got a bad feeling like he's going to do something stupid and maybe he's not trustworthy. I don't know why Aizawa would do that. So until then, so anyway. And also Shinzo is officially in the hero course in the second year. Congratulations to him. And for those pe people that were debating if he's going to go to Class A or Class B, I'm on. I want to say Class A because he'd be close to Aizawa, his master, and he's getting taught by Aizawa. But most likely it'll be Class B for me, I think. But I could be wrong. I want him to go to class A, but it's most likely in Hordokoshi trying to trick us. It's going to be in class B. So I'm just... So until then, I'll... S so this has been a crazy arc. And hopefully in the next arc will be our first full arc. Because technically I did it like halfway through the arc. First starting this. So... Yeah, I hope to see you all in Chapter 217, and we're going to be doing our full, soon we'll be doing our full start on a new arc, and probably be our first full-length arc on this channel. So until then, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you on the very next chapter. So until then, bye for now. Bye.